Hello guys, this is Akim Mumtaz. I'm very excited about uh, this video because in this video we are going to talk about Bayes' theorem. Bayes' theorem is a very famous, very popular nowadays. It's being used massively in the machine learning areas and it's producing enormous amount of result. And uh, the reason behind uh, the success of Bayes' theorem and uh, is basically a probabilistic model of Bayesian theorem. And uh, on the top of Bayes' theorem, there is a, a, other variations of naive Bayes, which is actually very uh, popular and successfully uh, successfully being used in machine learning areas for uh, predictions. So let's talk about Bayes' theorem first, then we will move toward naive Bayes in the next uh, video lectures. So Bayes' theorem uh, has a probabilistic model and the formula for Bayes' theorem is P H D P D H P H divided by P D. So now what is this? This is basically this is this is called hypothesis and this is called data. So actually we are going to predict probability of hypothesis on given data. And the formula for developing uh, uh, the probability of hy hypothesis on given data is PDH. And this PDH is probability of data on given hypothesis. And this is probability of hypothesis and this is probability of data. Uh, these terminologies might be confusing for you at the moment because they are like they are coming after one another and they are like they looks like same but they are actually different. Uh, this these two values are actually prior probabilities prior probabilities and this is going to be our posterior probabilities posterior mean our future probability and now we are going to actually uh, solve, a pro solve a problem by using this space theorem and the question for solving the problem is this one the question is a patient takes a cancer test and result came back positive. The result return a correct positive result. The test result uh, returns the test returns a correct positive result in only 98% of the cases in which disease is actually present. And a correct negative result is only 98% of the cases in which disease is not present. Furthermore, 0 0.008 of the entire population have this cancer. What is probability of patient has cancer? Wow, what a statement. This statement, I, I took this statement from the book and uh, now I'm going to solve it in front of you. So uh, let's solve it eventually. So you can have, a, an, have an idea how Bayes' theorem is working and how it is solving probabilistic based or solving problems by using probabilistic based models. So as we can see, we need, uh, we need, we need a couple of things. We need probability of data over hypothesis P of H, uh, PDH, PH, and PD. So let's figure out PH, PDH, and PD from this statement. So let's do it step by step. Step one. Step one, we are going to actually identify what are the classes. So there are basically two classes. One is the patient has cancer, and one is the patient doesn't have cancer. So I'm going to identify and mark it like if the patient has cancer then it is a positive class and if patient doesn't have cancer then it is a negative class. Alright, so this is step one. Step two, if you are going to follow the steps then it's going to be very easy for you to solve the problem otherwise it's very confusing and very irritating and people they, they, usually they they get trapped into into a no areas all right so let's do it step by step so the first step is to identify the classes positive and negative and the next step in my practice basically uh, i usually i develop uh, a matrix confusion matrix for for this problem like this to identify what are negative instances and what are positive instances and what are actually negative predictions and positive predictions all right so this is actually actual this is going to be actual data 
and this is going to be prediction all right actual data will represent h or hypothesis in this specific case and uh, this is prediction it's, uh, it's basically result or data in this specific case all right when we are solving uh, uh, the Bayes theorem problem so let's review our statement once more time the patient takes a cancer test and result came back positive the test returns the correct positive result in 98% correct positive result 98% of the 98% if disease is actually present so when disease is actually present so our hypothesis these are our set of hypotheses the classes are actually our hypothesis so when disease is actually present so when H is actually present when there is a cancer so it will it returns the correct positive result 98% so correct positive result when disease is actually present is 98% so it's 0.98 alright and the correct negative result 98% then with disease is not present so when H is not present disease is not present correct negative result is 0.97 so this is our confusion matter and uh, the next thing uh, we are we can actually we can subtract uh, we can calculate the other values by subtracting from 1 minus uh, uh, the 1 minus 0 0.97 is going to be 0 0.03 and uh, this is this is going to be 0 0.02 uh, by subtracting this value from 1 because this is true positive and this is false negative and this is true negative and this is true uh, sorry false positive so these two value they are actually uh, so they can be calculated by by subtracting one from each other so this is this is step number two. So step step number three to solve the problem is like uh, to identify because we need to identify uh, probability of hypothesis. So we will find out what is probability of hypothesis. So in this statement it is saying furthermore 0.08 percent of entire population have the cancer. So probability of hypothesis probability of cancer is basically probability of cancer is 0 0.08 0, 0.08 so we can say probability of not cancer is 0 0.992 <coughs> by subtracting one from one no, by subtracting this value from one all right so and uh, now the next thing we need to find out is probability of we find we have uh, we have p of h now we need to find out p, p of d of h probability of data or of hypothesis so probability of data of hypothesis so since we have hypothesis from this side and data from this side so actually the, the these the, these are specific P, pdh this is pdh of this section this is pd of this, this section this section this section so we can write it down like this if data is negative and <coughs> hypothesis is negative hypothesis negative mean no cancer the value is 0 0.97 and when data is negative and hypothesis is cancer the value is 0 0.02 when data is <coughs> positive positive and hypothesis is not cancer value is 0 0.03 so I'm simply writing all of the values in a PDH fashion and the P and cancer is 0.98 all right so now the formula so so the next point so we have PH we have PDH now and now we need to find out uh, the step 4 and to find out let's write in the formula once more time PAT is PDH PH PD <coughs> and uh, actually it is asking us 
what is the probability of patient has cancer so it is asking us what is probability of cancer so this is our final statement we need to find out what is probability of cancer so actually when we need to find out what is probability of cancer when when the hypothesis is positive we need when the hypothesis is positive we need positive data when hypothesis if we need to find out a negative hypothesis then we need negative data so for positive hypothesis we need all positive data so we can write it down we need to since we need to find out probability of cancer so we need positive data and let's fill out uh, d value by positive and h value by, d value by positive h value by uh, cancer so we will fill out all of the pdh uh, d value by positive h value by cancer this again h value by cancer <coughs> and the data is positive so we have all the values we have probability of cancer we have probability of positive cancer positive data for cancer but we don't have probability of data p plus so let's find out probability of data the formula for probability of data is actually it's very simple easy to understand very easy to memorize the probability of data uh, uh, the, the 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 formula for probability of data is upper part of this formula which is right here pdh ph all right but we need a summation sign with this so let's find out when since we need to find out probability of positive cancer pro positive data so uh, so and we are working on positive data for all the positive data for this section and this section so we can write it like this probability of data is positive when hypothesis let's say for when hypothesis is negative not cancer and probability is is cancer this should be summed up with probability of data is positive that, that we need to find out when hypothesis is negative uh, cancer this is not cancer this is not cancer this is not cancer and in this case probability of data positive when there is cancer and probability of cancer all right so let's uh, let's put in the formula and let's find out the values what is uh, probability of positive not cancer probability of positive not cancer is 0.03 <coughs> multiplied by probability of not cancer probability of not cancer 0.992 plus <coughs> probability of positive cancer probability of positive cancer 0.9 8 into probability of cancer probability of cancer is 0.008 so 0.98 is multiplied by 0.008 and 0.08 is multiplied by 0.992 and summed up and the answer is 0.0376 yeah so we have we have all the values we have this we have this we have this so let's put up this uh, everything and find out the required answer so probability of cancer for positive data what is value for probability of positive cancer we have already found out found out probability of positive cancer is probability of uh, positive data on a on given cancer on, on a cancer is 0.98 multiplied by probability of cancer is 0.008 divided by Point nine uh, probability of positive data is this point zero three seven six, and if we are going to find out the required answer, find out the uh, values which is twenty eighty five. So this is the probability of cancer. We can write it down that probability of cancer is point twenty eighty five. on given positive data which is uh, which is a, which is asked in this statement what is probability of patient does has cancer it has 0.2085 uh, probability of having cancer 
So that's it. That's all about Bayesian theorem. So hope you have enjoyed this session. We are going to take up into into the next lecture, and we are going to record more videos. So please like and subscribe, and uh, uh, see you in next lecture. And till then, enjoy machine learning.